Thank you for joining Cancer Support Community Atlanta for Gentle Somatic Yoga, facilitated by Bobby Brown. If this is your first time participating in a Cancer Support Community Atlanta program, we invite you to visit our website and complete a new attendee form to stay connected to all future programs. As we move through this morning, I'd just like to welcome you into my home and thank you for taking the time to come to practice and welcome me into your space. Just a few things as a reminder before we get into our practice today. Make sure that you have some room around you that you're not going to bump your arms or your knees into the coffee table and that you're in a comfortable position. We work with what we have and we focus on doing the things that are working with our body. All the poses that we bring forth as teachers may not be for you. So you decide using your movement mindfulness as we move through this practice today. I appreciate your taking this time to honor and replenish your well. As we come into the focus today, I will be focusing the breath on the canopy of the lung tree to expand the breath into the upper chest without force and to open the nadias for cleansing. Fascia throughout our body is covered and it loves the slow movement and this aids us in the lymphatic drainage of the germs. So begin in a comfortable position, whatever that is for your body, adjusting to the present moment. As you begin to settle in, closing the external gate for now. Take a moment to just find the breath smooth and even flowing through the body without force. Begin to soften the forehead, soften behind the eyeballs, the cheeks, the jawline, Following the smooth, even flow of prana, envision the artist brushing the front of the heart, the back of the lungs, cleansing healing thoughts into our body. Begin to turn the palms upward, and I invite you to take an in-breath and let the palms slowly float in front of the heart, taking the palms to touch the thumb, the little finger, into lotus hand mudra. Then begin to open slightly the petals, the index, the middle, the ring finger, the beautiful lotus. This is very beneficial since we're going to have a new moon this evening. So let's honor with the lotus, beautiful flower. Begin to float slowly inward to the heart center. Let the thumbs touch heart. Release the neck slightly downward as the chin releases. Take a moment to come in to your breath. 
finding perhaps an intention for your practice today. Using that word or phrase could be one for I am safe, I am well. Use the word joy, bringing the mind back as it begins to wander out to the outside duties today. Keeping the breath inward, let's begin an inhalation as we move outward and bow the petals together in hand is in prayer. Extend the arms forward in front of the heart, rising to your level. You can keep a softening of the elbows as you open out into goalposts or what we call cactus. Begin to expand the breath a little deeper, feeling it coming from the lower level of the floor, the lower bowl of the belly. And as you exhale, slowly open the arms outward. Let the lungs be opening, floating in that water. And then as you begin to rotate forward, rotate toward the front, bring the palms together and into the heart. Let's repeat, inhale, lengthen out, rise up, going maybe a little more into the stretch. Breathe into the sides of the ribs with focusing the breath. As you release the breath, the arms float down, elbows pointing down. Let the arms open. It's time to turn the palms and rotate down. Feel how the different air is flowing as we press forward, rising up, and then coming back down to a neutral position. Let the hands rest on the thighs. Come back to the smooth, even flow of breath. Began to take a gentle flow from one side of the sit bone to the other. Just maybe incorporate the shoulders, just a gentle movement. Then coming back to your center line as you take your inhalation, lengthen upward, elongating the spine. And as you release the breath, release right shoulder toward left or left toward right. Do what works for you. Find the lengthening in the back body. Inhale, center. And as you release the breath, release the other shoulder to the opposite knee. Inhale back up to center, reversing to the other side and begin to make small circles, clockwise or counterclockwise. This is your practice. Honor where your body needs to go. Being in the present moment, I am here as your guide. And you are to listen to your body and observe and witness that temple is your best teacher. Coming back into center, inhale, rise up. Release the breath and feel the softening flow of the prana down. And on an inhalation, extend the opposite shoulder to opposite knee and begin to circle clockwise or counterclockwise, whichever side you, you didn't circle. Just beginning to get slower movement into the upper body using the breath 
as a tool for cleansing. The breath is the thread that leaves, weaves mind body together. The next time you circle up, gently let the head float over shoulders and heart over pelvis. And on an inhalation, let's begin to rise the arms upward and take a side bend, letting the arm rest down from the opposite from where you are. Taking a side bend, breathe into the under armpit, breathe into that nostril and that side of the lung. And as you release the breath, you can look toward that side and begin to circle around to the other side. Find the flow of energy. Breathe in to that nostril under that armpit and lung. Inhale, rise up and repeat. Slower movement, flowing. Feel the body as it flows through the movement. And then coming back up into your center, find an in-breath as you rise up. And as you exhale to midline, just gently turn toward one side. A slow twist, turning the belly, and then you might turn the head. Take some breaths here, beginning to wring out the organs. Then trickle the fingers across midline, finding the other side. That hand behind can prop up and elongate the spine. The opposite hand can go to the thigh, the outside. Turn the belly first, and then on the exhale, you might want to take a gaze toward that side. Breathe in to that side of the neck, finding ease and comfort. Release and come back to center and inhale. Take the arms behind and let's do a chest expander. Take a breath in and then extend the legs long and begin to move them in and out, rocking on the heels, just getting a little movement into the rhythm of the body here. And then coming back into neutral, prepare to go into the somatic movements here. And we'll do these lying. So listen to my cues and observe your body throughout as we began to work with our own pace, remembering the pause and to wait, watch, and listen. And if you would like something under your head for now, you might want to put a blanket under. Otherwise, let's come down into letting everything, keep the knees bent and lower down into your position for the corpse pose or Shavasana. You can bend the knees if you have a lower back pain here and want to keep the knees together and the feet apart. If that feels better or else just open the feet out into full Shavasana. And we'll begin to feel the body. Let the bones soak down. Feel the flesh behind the heels, behind the calves, the kneecaps. Breathing in and breathe out 
to find the soft flow of karma. We began with the lying sun salutation. So the arms now are beside you. And you can readjust if you need to here. So inhale and begin to brush the arms up toward the front of the mat. And you can keep a soft bend in the elbows if extending out does not work. The option is to turn the biceps in toward the ears by letting the backs of the hands touch in reverse namaste. If that's not possible, do what works in your body. Then slowly release back, arms floating, brushing the floor, brushing around you the energy, moving with an inhale back up. And if you, you can take that deeper stretch, Feel how the ribs are expanding. The breath is going into the lungs. And as you release, bring the arms down beside you and take and bend the elbows and place the palm of the hands below the navel. We'll do reverse here. So as you inhale, bring the palms together in prayer namaste. Let the thumb slice up the midline, the heart, the throat, past the third eye, and up if you can go higher above the head and circle back around, make the flowing motion ease and comfort in the body that you're working with. Inhale, slice upward through the midline and open to the sun, the front body. One more time if you like. Inhale, moving upward to reach to the top of the mountain. And exhale, release the arms beside the body. Take a breath for nothing. Take your pause. Observe. Observe how you're feeling today. Maybe you're feeling joyful. Maybe you're feeling happy. Honor your feelings with self-love. Now, as we begin the somatic movement here, sensory awareness of Sacha, we always begin with the cat-cow on our back. So bend one knee and sit the sole of the foot down, followed by the other knee, both knees are pointing vertical, soles of the feet down. And the arms can just move out beside you in a comfortable position, or they can stay beside you. I like to take an inhale and bring the arms slightly outward. Begin the movement, thinking of the cat-cow if you were seated but we're working with releasing the pain in the erratic spine that moves into the psoas and into the ileus here. So take an inhale of breath and you will feel and find that arch in the low back. Maybe the chin can tilt slightly upward as the shoulders come down. And then as you exhale, Begin to scoop into the belly, pressing the back downward. Into flexion, extend back into your cow position. Think of how when the cat wakes up in the morning, the first thing it does is the spinal rock. 
really feel the scooping in as you press the lower back down. Might even press into the heels, but keep the hips down. Then inhale once again, feeling. Then as you exhale, pressing the back down. Flexion and extension. Coming back, release. Take a pause to the breath. Smooth and even flowing through the body. Then I invite you to interlace the fingers, placing behind the head to cuff the head. The elbows are pointing down, they're flat to the mat. If you have any option here of not wanting or being able to interlace to cradle your head, you can always use a strap in the hands, but if the hands are cradling the head, the elbows are down, we'll begin once again to inhale and find the arch, maybe looking, gazing with the eyes closed toward the back of the room. And then as you do your exhale, scooping the belly in, began to lift head and shoulders upward, bringing elbows closer to the midline and gazing toward the navel. This is strengthening the back. This is opening the lung tree. Come back down, take a rest. Let the butterfly maybe resemble these wings that are lying down and find the arch, find the inhale as you expand the ribs, opening like the shade that opens. As you exhale the breath, tucking inward, closing in the butterfly wings, gazing toward the navel, Find the flow a couple of more times at your own pace without my cueing. Let the mind lead the body. Let the breath lead the body. Coming back to the neutral position. Release the arms back beside the body and release into Shavasana, letting the feet open out and find the breath by taking the palms of the hands to the ribs and just observe the prana as you breathe in, feel the Ribs expanding underneath your palms, all of this without force. And as the Venetian line closes, feel the ribs coming inward. Take a couple of breaths to expand the fascia. Let's release the arms beside the body and begin to bring the feet, maybe hip width apart. As you begin to bring the one foot slides up into Bhattakanasana, into the tree pose. Keep the knee level. We're not ready to go airborne yet. And then slide back down. It's the sliding and gliding motion. Inhaling as you open and release back down. 
inhale, slide upwards. And exhale, down. Now repeat on the other side. Inhale, let the knee open slightly and slide out into maybe one side doesn't want to go. I have one side of the ileus here in my body that will not go very far. It's not about extension and how far we can go. It's about finding our edge and where we are in the movement. So take the breath with the flow. Coming back out of that release. And let's begin to come back to the other side and slide out and then slightly go airborne toward the center of the mat and slide back down. Inhale into the slide, then maybe lift the knee up to rotate toward midline and slide back down again. Maybe one more time on that side, maybe not. Just feel the rotation of how the hip is opening, the beginning to work with the kidneys, all of this opening. We have 350,000 nadias in our body. So some have fewer, some have more. So begin on the other side with the inhale, sliding the knee along the floor, and then rotating toward midline and back. Just find that flow a couple of times on your own. Breath can stay with movement. Whatever works for you. Everybody breathes differently. So just because I'm cueing you, I usually like to breathe into the movement and exhale when I release out of the movement. But that doesn't mean it's right for your body. So the next time you slide out, let's just release and just find a little comfort here as the body slowly finds its way, sinking the bones downward. Once again, take a breath for nothing and pause. Wait, watch, and listen. Now let's take the feet a little bit wider, maybe to the edge of the mat. And we did this seated, so now we're going to do it lying. We're going to do the heel rocks to feel the difference in the movement. So rocking on your heels, toes are pointing inward, and just Windshield wipe in and out. Toes can stay flexed or they can be loose. Let the movement go with your flow. Maybe pick it up a little bit, maybe not. <laughs> and then start to slow the movement down. And then come back and feel the pulsation in the lower legs. You should have more pulsation in the ankles and in the feet. On an inhalation, you can move the arms back out to give more breath into the sides of the ribs. Bring one foot up and sit the knee vertical. This time we're going to be going across the midline and inhale and press into the foot, opening up, crossing the midline and breathe. 
As you exhale, flip back to center. And you repeat when you're ready, taking your pause is very important. Maybe you want to include the same knee that's going across his arm, and the arm can slide up toward the back of the room. Full body stretch, and then scoot back down to center. Take another breath when you're ready and move through the movement. Extending back into neutral. Coming back into movement. Release. Bend the other knee and sit the sole of the foot down. And as you take your inhalation, begin to move that knee crossing toward the midline. I'm staying with the shoulder of the knee that's crossing, trying to keep that shoulder down. It's not about moving the upper body. Back in to center. Feel the rocking and gliding, binding the prana. You're welcome to bring that arm that the knee is crossing over up to the top of the mat or wherever and let it brush back down to center line when the knee comes back. So now you're adding a couple of layers if you're using the arm movement. Coming back in. When you have finished that move, don't interrupt where you are. Release and the knees are floating downward. Let the arms release down beside the body. Coming back into Shavasana. Find the smooth, even flow of breath. Brushing the front of the heart, the back of the lungs. Maybe repeating your mantra. Let's begin to bend one knee, sit the knee vertical and the sole down, and sit the other foot down. And bring the knees upward, airborne. Place the hands to the top of the knees and begin to gently massage your low back. Just a gentle massage can bring the knees in a little bit closer into the gut area to begin to press in and cleanse the colon, the right side of the colon as coming around to the left side of the colon, which is the descending and moving around the gut. It's very important to do the cleansing of the gut. Today we're focusing on the breath and the lung tree. Then coming back, give a nice little hug in and sit the feet to the edge of the mat. And once again, inhale the breath and take the arms to the comfort level toward the midline. Then as you take an inhalation of breath, let one knee drop to the opposite, feeling the elongation of the outer sheath then coming back to neutral, take an in-breath and drop the other knee toward the opposite. Do that a couple of times. Just 
just finding some comfort, beginning to work with the movement, staying with the breath, staying with your sensory awareness, attuning into your body and observing and witnessing. If you're ready, can both knees drop together to one side? And then coming back to center. And exhale, release the knees, both of them to the other side. And then coming back with both the knees, maybe you want to go air breath. If this is not a workable asana for your body, then just keep it the way that we repeat it. Otherwise, bring the knees up and make a circle around. Pressing into the low back, we're getting into the gut area. And then don't let the knees go down to drop. Come back and make your circle. Keep the circle in one direction. Circling across the midline toward the other side. Maybe your head can turn toward the side. Maybe your head stays neutral. Be very gentle with your neck. And so the sensitive bones in our bodies. And I like to flow with my head moving in the opposite direction. Now coming back into center. Once again, bring the knees up and just find the breath and just a gentle moving. This time we can take the hands a little above the thighs and press the knees forward and then press the knees slightly inward. This is called Apanasana. This is great. You can do this one every day. Mm -hmm. And then let's open out and reverse the airborne of the knees, whichever way you want to go. So reverse the circles around. And if that's not working for you, anytime you need, take your pause, in your Shavasana. And coming back into center, place the soles of the feet downward and just find the breath. And then let's move in to seated pigeon. So take the one knee up and place the ankle above that opposite knee. You can leave that standing support foot down or you have the option of bringing it up, the option of bringing the arms up and interlacing the fingers behind the thigh and just Find the flow of breath to open into that psoas, the IT band on that side that's in the pigeon. So breathe in and breathe out here. Then if it's working for you, extend and support behind the knee there the opposite leg is reaching upward. So do a little movement, pointing, flexing the toes towards you. Pointing on the inhale, release the breath and flex. Do a couple of times, circling the ankle. One direction and then the other. Then once again, bend that knee and let the arms open into T position and the hips roll to the opposite side. 
Now this is a hip opener here going up in under the armpit. So breathe. Get the maximum breath under arms. Going down the channel into the lung canopy. Down into the psoas and the hip. Then gently moving upward. Release. Once again, come back with the knees vertical, the soles of the feet downward. Take your breath, take your pause. Find your center line of the mind. In the opposite ankle coming and crossing above the knee, the sole of the foot that is using the support can stay down, or you have the option once again of placing, interlacing the hands behind the knee. This is a deeper stretch, so maybe one side you don't need to do this much. Maybe it feels fine. Only you will know. Use the breath. It's the tool weaving mind body together. Take an inhale and extend the leg upward, pointing and flexing. Pointing and flexing. Then you can do a few ankle circles. One direction and then the other. And then bend that knee that was airborne and begin to float to the opposite side, opening the arms outward. Maybe you need to just not go as far on this side. Maybe you need a prop under. Just find the flow of prana. Breathing in, cleansing. Basha loves slow movement. So the slower, the better. Coming back into your center, extend out, back into Shavasana. Let the arms rest beside the body. Now let's take a sideline. Back into the sideline of the body and we will do a, a stretch here, so roll to one side of the mat, the bottom arm as your training wheel, the bottom arm as your pillow to put under your head. Your body, you can bend the knees if that's more comfortable for you. The top hand and the top leg, the top hand is your support, and we're going to be going into the position of sideline breathing here. So as you take an inhalation of breath, begin to move that hand up and reach for the wrist that's down on the ground and take a lengthening through the top leg it's on top and extend through that heel toward the back of the rib. Now we're doing the body in two different directions. And as you release the breath, release. Let's do that again. Take an inhalation, extending. Really feel the breath coming into the Side body. And 
and then began to move the underarm and open out, releasing back to the middle of the body, coming back into your position. As you take an inhale here, you can have the knee pointing upward, or you can bend both knees and place the soles of the feet together. There's an option. Then one arm begins to travel over and go down the inner sole of that arm that's on the floor. We're brushing through the lungs. Then inhale, coming back up across and open back out for the breath. And, and you can let the knees move inward as you close the top knee can close in. Come across the lung line here right underneath the collarbone and slide the inner hand down the inner arm. Take a pause once you have arrived. Maybe the top hand is going a little further. Begin to breathe into the back of the lungs here. 60% of the lungs are in the back body. Inhale and open back up and release. Begin to move toward the other side, whatever that is for you. Reposition, reposition and the underarm is out. The knees can be stacked. And the hips are slightly, find the position that is comfortable for your body. On an inhalation, let the top arm come across and then slide down that inner dorsal sheath all the way past the hands and fingers and take a pause once you've arrived. Breathe into the back of the lungs, the sides of the ribs. Feel how the bottom rib is being pressed down and the top rib is opening when we open up both to the center. Then brushing across, repeat a couple of times at your own pace. Taking a pause, waiting, watching, listening. Coming back up to your center. Readjusting here. Take a pause, take a moment to reflect. How is the body feeling right now? Is the mind quiet? Dwelling in the present moment as this is the only moment. Begin to make your way over to the opposite side. Let the underarm there rolling over into prone position to prepare for working into cobra. So as we do this preparation, turning the front body down toward the earth and the back body now, which doesn't really get that much attention, so we need to give more attention because the back body is actually holding us the stability of the front body. So observe and breathe in, 
taking the elbows to the edge of the mat and the hands stacked, place your forehead to the top of the hands. Release the top of the feet downward. Once again, focus the prana back of the lungs. You'll have the ribs are pressing down into Mother Earth and expanding with the breath. Feel how the back ribs expand. <laughs> Begin to extend the toes down, pointing the toes down and pressing through the heels. Lift the kneecaps upward and find the energy here as you take an inhalation of breath, begin to move upward, head and shoulders lift slightly, keep the gaze soft and neutral down or arc slightly outward. <laughs> Breathe in to the front of the heart, the back of the lungs, strengthening the back. This is a wonderful pose to do every day. It's a slight back arch, which we need to do. It's also good for us with the rounding that we do um, in the back body. And release back down. Release the tops of the feet flat to the mat. Release the forehead back down. Find the flow of prana smooth and even through the body. Extend the toes, pressing them down to the earth and lifting the kneecaps upward. Then take an inhalation of breath and maybe you can come a little higher this time in your cobra. Maybe not. Never forcing the body. Be gentle with your gaze here, softening the throat. Breathing into the heart center. And release, tops of the feet, let the forehead relax down. Now on the next one, you can keep the head down, begin to move one knee out, into tree position, Baddha Konasana. The other leg stays extended long. And then open the arms out to the side, soften in the elbows and turn the cheek toward the side of the knee that is in tree position and feel how this is opening the back body. If there's any strain on your neck at all in this position, readjust to where it's comfortable for your body. You always have the option of keeping the elbows bent glued to the floor and the forehead to the top of the hands. Then moving back into center, extend that leg back long and begin to move from the other side. Then open out into tree, let the knee relax down. You can have a choice here of keeping the head centered or moving 
to the side that the knee is in tree position, feeling more extension in that side of the ribs and lungs, and squeezing in the body needs the squeeze and release. Then slowly beginning to extend that leg out, coming back into your center position. Take the arms a little above and be on your forearms and come up into the modified cobra on your forearms. Breathing into the front of the throat, the heart, the lungs to the back. And then bring the hands behind and press yourself up into tabletop position. And in tabletop, the hands are spread, the fingers spread wide apart, the shoulders over wrist, hips over knees. And let's just begin to circle the hips back toward the heels. And just a scooping motion with the hips. Circling, find the flow here. It's all about the slow flow or staying in the movement, staying paused, reverse the rotation of the circles of the hip. And then coming back into your center. You have the option to go into child pose if that works for your body. Knees spread apart, toes together. You can always use your block, a blanket, or a bolster for your head. The arms can just be extended above. Feel the hips softening as you go down. Breathe into the back of the lungs. Find the flow of softening here. And coming back, pressing into the hands, readjusting, coming back into the movement, begin to circle counterclockwise the hips from the other way that you circled. Just taking a breath here, moving and scooping into the lower belly here, circling around. And then coming back into the seated position, find the comfort level that works for your body. Coming up into seated, perhaps you'd like to sit on a bolster, a block, a blanket, propping the hips up, and then extend the legs out, and one leg, let's do a twist here. Let's go into the twist position. So sitting on a block, a blanket, if you have it, bring, bend one knee, and bring the sole of that foot up close to your prop, Elongate your spine and take a breath. Keep the other leg extended long and the toes pointed. And then maybe you want to take a rise up and take an inhalation of breath and then return down and circle that arm back behind, placing it to the prop. The other arm can reach up for the prana. And as you exhale, begin to maybe latch hook into the knee as you turn the belly toward that side. Then you can turn the neck if you like, turning the head gently. Breathing in. Release the tension, 
torquing and squeezing into the organs. Then turning the head slowly back into your center line. Let's reverse out of that, sliding that leg long and bending the other knee, sitting the sole of the foot close down, lengthening downward as you elongate the spine upward. The sitting bones are going down. So circling the hand back behind for support. Inhale, rising up. And then you have the option to interlace and lock in that elbow, the arm around and turn the belly. Then you can turn the head. Release that shoulder downward as you're expanding the breath, you're twisting in to the belly, torquing and twisting, bringing the organs very healthy to detox. All of the twists are healthy, but be mindful of how far you go into any asana. Then turning the head slowly back into center, Readjust the feet out and let's just circle and lengthen the feet out, the hands behind the prop and open the chest and breathe. And we have, before we conclude here, I'd like for us to, to come back down and do our bridge pose here before we have our final relaxation of Shavasana. So find your way back and the knees are bent, bringing the feet upward. If you have a block, please use your block, placing it above the knees so that you can keep the rotation inward to strengthen. And then move the body down in vertebrae at a time allowing the feet to come back up closer to the hips. And we're squeezing inward to strengthen the inner muscles in the dorsal sheath that control our walking. So the arms can be beside the body. You can always take the mat and put the hands down and squeeze into the mat. Take an inhalation of breath and gently just lift the hips up as you're scooping the belly inward. And just lift up and just take a few moments to align and see where you are here. Then release slowly downward. And you have the option to take the arms up above you and inhale, coming maybe a little higher in the bridge, maybe not. Squeezing into the block, trying not to squeeze too much and tighten into the glutes. It's more about the lifting, the arching. And then you can release the arms and let them float beside the body if you took that option. Inhale, begin to lift the hips and lift the arms up. Find the flow of the breath. And inhale and release down. In taking the block, if you have the block and placing it not under your back, but under your sacrum, so you're more in the fish pose here, and you ha have the option to extend one leg up, followed by the other, and you're in the supported shoulder stance. If this is not your thing, then please stay within your range of motion here. But if the legs are extended upward, 
Let the toes be pointing towards your face and don't move the head back and forth. Keep it aligned to the center. Find the breath. The arms can open out slightly. They can be in T position. Now the blood is flowing from the sole of the feet up the inner dorsal sheath into the kidneys and heart and lungs. This is the same. Maybe you can do this on the wall or in a chair. There are several options of doing this. Personally, I like to do this every day to get any swelling, any edema that's in my ankles and feet moving out of the body. The option is to stay in this position. I'm just briefly showing you so that you may want to do this later. You may want to have your knees bent and in a chair position. Then extend out, remove the block, letting the body come back into Shavasana for final relaxation. Once again, you could take the hands to the ribs or to one hand on the lower abdomen, the other hand to the center of the heart. Begin to find the smooth, even flow of breath. As you envision, where you are at the present moment. Replenishing your well as the mind stays quiet. The body stays calm. And release the arms beside the body. Begin to bend the knees and gently roll to the favorite side of your mat. Pressing yourself up to a seated position of choice as we begin to close our practice time together today. Let there be a softness behind the eyeballs. Let the eyelids be soft. Keeping the flow of the breath. Connecting mind-body together as it weaves one. As we close into the practice today, I'm going to read you one of my favorite metta meditations. May your life be free from suffering. May your heart be open. May your body be filled with joy and with ease. May you share your gifts with the world. May you know your true self in this lifetime. On an inhalation, let the open palms float upward toward the heart, bringing the palms together, placing the two hands together in prayer. Thumbs touch heart. I invite you to bow your head honoring your mind in service to your heart. As we depart from our practice today, taking this metta of love and kindness that we have shared with each other during the practice, keeping this creativity, beauty, and love 
embedded like the roots of the lotus flower in our heart center. May the peace, love, and joy follow you as you depart, taking your kind spirits, compassionate hearts, and hands to serve into the universe. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for the practice time today. Thank you for joining Cancer Support Community Atlanta for this program. If you're interested in other live or recorded programs, please visit the online program tab of our website, cscatlanta.org. Or follow us on Facebook. We'll be sharing additional information on upcoming programs.